can't believe it. It has been months and months and months. Well, precisely two months. New Year, Hogmanay, but it feels like it's been an age. But I'm back in Edinburgh. I'm back home in Edinburgh. And it is so good to be here. The sun is even shining. It's not supposed to be shining, but it is fresh air. I can't believe the one thing I didn't bring to Edinburgh that I actually think I need on this trip. Ironically, the sunglasses. <laughs> Look how bright it is, I can't even see. Anyway, listen, welcome to Edinburgh. It's great to be showing you around my home city and I'm going to be doing a vlog over here for the next couple of days. You're all invited, so hang around. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. now me and Tech all right and we are on our way to our family home and see people I've not seen for a very long time that's one of the first reasons we came back to Edinburgh and I see Sky and Sky has now got an accomplice but I'll only reveal that once I get there and show you um, if you've been watching my channel for a long time you will know about Sky our kitten who's not a kitten anymore he's like a tiger quite scary anyway she's got an accomplice and I, I want to take you guys to meet her and her friend Right now, we're going there. I just can't get over how much of an amazing sunny day it is here in Edinburgh. Wow, it's gorgeous. Dizzy! Oh, that's Sunday's netting. Down. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Guess where are you? Guess you, boy. Who have we got here? Look at the size of this lion. Look at the size of you, Sky. Right, so if you've not got it and you're trying to do that, so you don't get it, won't work. it won't work. And it's not good because you breathe on a mask. Yeah. Hey. But it's not. I said, I've got the new one. Is anyone? Oh. This is Scissor. He's, he's a cutie boy. Wow, you're getting so big. Awesome. Look at you. So friendly. Do you think he remembers you? I hope so. I feel like he's soft as anything. Look at the size of you. They're best friends, you should see. Wow. Oh. Hey, kitty. Do you remember me? That wee car, I've not seen it for months. I'm gonna take the cover off. This is gonna be a really important moment. It's raining. I've not got much time here in Scotland, right? But I want to make the most of it nonetheless. I'm spending most of my time in and around Edinburgh. We do have a couple of hours spare today. Storm Jorge has hit Edinburgh nonetheless, and it's very windy, but the sun is still out and it gives us time to kind of explore a little bit. So I've come out here to Blackness Castle, which is only about an hour from Edinburgh. It's not much of a drive. And I've come here specifically because I wanted to test out something. I've got a 360 degree camera from GoPro and I'm very excited to see what kind of images I can get. And I was thinking, where could I test this out that would be pretty cool? And there's a lot of chamber type of rooms inside Blackness Castle that I want to try some different types of images. So that's where we are today. That's the first stop on this exploration of Scotland in a weekend, essentially. It's all the type of places you can visit if you come here. This should be cool, we're here at Blackness Castle with all the films recently where we're, we're done. The main courtyard, I'm going to walk over first of all to the main courtyard where Outlander was obviously filmed where they did the, the whipping scene. Spiral staircases. I wonder what this is going to be like. 
spiral staircases like this in these types of castles, they just go all the way up like that. I'm going to show you now. down can I be able to see the whole of the top of the castle from up here very cool spot look at this view this is incredible I'm up here look at that. I should get a much cooler view just be able to do this as well spin around Beautiful day in the castle here. Despite the wind, the wind is pretty fierce, but with blue sky, it's incredible. Look at it all. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the views in this vlog. And like I said, if you guys come to Scotland, if you're coming to Scotland, this is one of many castles you should. You guys suggest. I can't talk today. This is one of many castles you guys should definitely check out. What a view! Check this out. All the way around from here this is a whole courtyard of the castle right here down there is where blackjack randall flogged jamie on those rocks All right, we're back in the car after Brave and Storm Jorge. They're eating Iron Brew Rocks. Is it nice? I've never had Iron Brew Rock. Mm, it's actually really nice. Does it taste like Iron Brew or mint? Because I hate minty ones. Iron Brew. Really? Mm-hmm. Can I have one? Mm-hmm. You may. Sure. I'm sure one. <laughs> what did you guys think of Blackness Castle? Steve, especially you coming from Canada. Mm. You're the visitor. Really nice. Amazing. If you get a chance, I definitely recommend coming. Uh, just from watching the show Outlander and that, being able to get to see that and oh, actually cool. being here in person, it's it was quite nice. Pretty cool. And also I managed to, when we were out on the bridge there, the wind was so strong, I was getting, getting their hair blown around, it was pretty funny. <laughs> but um, we're going to head back into Edinburgh now. Um, and I just wanted to take you, as I said, I just wanted to take you guys out here and have you, show you a quick look around this castle because it is pretty cool, well worth visiting. Um, but now I'm going to have fun in Edinburgh tonight. I'm going to go out, get some dinner and we've got something spooky to do as well. 
before that, let me try this Iron Brew Rock. As you know, Iron Brew is a legend in Scotland. You need to try Iron Brew. Let's see if the rock is any good. I'll need to take some of this plastic off. Down a bit. On that side as well. All right, Iron Brew Rock, here we go. We're going in. It really tastes like Iron Brew. Wow. And it is really very good. And before we go, before we leave Black Nest to go back to Edinburgh, just a quick message. I met three lovely French visitors to Scotland who are here and studying in Edinburgh. Um, I didn't catch their names, so I apologise about that. But I was down in the lower level. They were up high and we were kind of shouting to each other. But I really, really loved meeting those guys. And if you're watching, really, really nice to meet you. Hope you have a great time in Scotland. And thank you very much for saying hi. I love meeting people when I'm out and about here in Scotland, especially. I meet so many people who watch my videos and have come to Scotland who are studying or traveling or just coming to see Outlander sites. So that was really, really cool. <laughs> things I want to do now that I'm up in Edinburgh right and especially because I've not got much time I want to go to places that I've never ever been before in Edinburgh you might think because I've been all over the city for my whole life basically that I know everywhere all the ins and outs of Edinburgh and mostly I do but there are some places that I have not been and amazingly one of those places is the Edinburgh dungeons a lot of people say it's very very good so in today's episode I'm actually going to go and check it out I don't think I can film much there but um, Tech is looking forward to it as well. She's never been. I hope it's not too scary. I don't think it'll be too scary, but I'm a little bit apprehensive. Anyway, I love hearing stories about Scotland, folklore and all that kind of thing. So we're going to go in and check it out. was actually a lot of fun um, a lot scarier than I thought and it also covered a lot of really interesting stories about Edinburgh and Scotland in general like they talked about Sonny Bean the famous cannibal they talked about Mary Queen of Scots they talked about what else did they talk about uh, Burke and Hare Burke and Hare Hare Burke and Hare the grave robbers that covered a lot of real life stories and did it in a dramatic fashion and it was really it was really scary Plus the thing at the end, it's like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> that was the best thing. That was the best, that was awesome. Um, but you know what it's like? It's like theater, right? If you go to a scary theater show, but like interactive in real life and the actors are like in and about you and you're part of it. That's what it is. It's like real life, it's like interactive theater. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Much better than I thought it would be. But it's good to know the stories as well, like, because you kind of learned that. Too. Yeah, you learn about the cool. stories. Yeah, I liked it a lot. But yeah, I think I, I love the best bit actually was the when you go through the streets and then the plague, the plague, the plague, bit. the plague stuff, which was um, it took us through like a, a fake Mary Queen's clothes. It was Mary King's clothes. Oh yes, yeah. yeah that well, was really yeah. really cool. Learning about the plague through these dramatic stories with real actors as well it was really, you know what. Good experience, I liked it a lot, and I wasn't expecting it to be as good as I thought. It wasn't expected to be as good as it was, so really, really good. Really enjoyed it. I would come back again. Yeah, uh, it's, it's worth coming. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, go get some of the eat. Maybe not. Okay, I think you're supposed to come off the bed and then do it. 
I love the bed. You can literally just press a button and it goes from being like a sofa where you can sit up and watch the TV. It turns into like a sofa type thing so you can watch the TV. I love those pulsating colors as well, by the way. We're staying in a queen room. Super queen, I think it's called. Anyway, it's very, very nice. I like the style and design. It's very kind of modern. It's very, it's very futuristic. You know, I want to say like Japanese. I've never been to Japan. So I don't know what it's like, but you know, I see all these YouTube videos of people staying in like pods, pods in Japan, and I've always thought I wanted to do that. This kind of gives me a feeling of what it might be like to be in a Japanese pod. It's very small and organized. Everything has its place. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I like it. Awesome windows out into Queen Street in Edinburgh as well. It's very quiet out there at the moment because it is very, very late. Anyway, I'm going to bed to get a bit of kip. Well, that was a nice short and sweet stay here in Edinburgh. It's sad to go home as always. It is sad to be leaving Edinburgh, but I will be back again very soon. This is my hometown. Of course, I'll be back. But you know what? I think Edinburgh is broken. Someone has broken Edinburgh. Because we've been here three days and it's been mostly glorious sunshine. Like, look at the sky right now. If I go up there, you'll see it's just bright blue. What's going on with Edinburgh? We're getting on the train now, back to London, which is sad, but we will be back here in Edinburgh again very soon.